Welcome back to Archer in Malta. I'm Ray. I'm Tony. And this week we've got a few bits and pieces. So first up we've got our competition uh, winner to pick from last time. We asked two questions, I believe, on the last video, which was how many medals did the team come back with and what is the next tournament they're going to? The correct answer obviously was the team won 12 medals in Slovenia and the next competition will be Barcelona for the Spanish Bowhunter Championships. So we put up a very nice third paw oh, backpack as a prize and Tony will choose a winner. And the winner is... Doubles! There we go. Bubbles, you're on the backpack. There well you done. go. Come and collect it whenever you want. You're be happy like Yeah, you wanted that, so that's good. Um, in terms of stock and parcels, unfortunately it's been a very, very quiet week. Seems my postman's been kidnapped again. All we got in stock was some quivers. We got so they're nice ones, those quivers. Very nice ones, I like those. They don't actually. work for me because my arrows are too long. I use 31 inch arrows, but... Uh, so we have a couple of these sort of a brown suede leather, quite nice, bear claw. We've got a couple of them in stock now. And we've got restocks, we actually just sold the last two of these as well. Yeah, the forest, real these forest are the camel cattle. ones with the leg strap. With the leg strap, yeah. And it's a lefty pointing forwards or a righty pointing backwards. Yeah. I like those ones. I think from the two though, I think I prefer the That's really nice one, right? the hard suede one. To get that to before. Yeah, we've had this one before. Yeah. So we've got a few of them in stock if we look for any problem. So, next. Next, we have a few announcements. Let's go. So, Announcement number one. First up, we have our night out on the 16th of July for our regulars and ourselves. We're going to be at Ienza Bar down in Burzabuja. Uh, we're going to have some drinks, some food, and also a raffle, and also a little bit of archery on the night as well because they've actually got a uh, piece of wasteland about 100 metres away from the bar. Oh, yeah, okay. That okay. we can set up the travel net yep. and a couple of targets. So we'll do a little bit of archery down by the sea. Happy days. So that's posted in the Facebook group, so if you're interested, please confirm the, your attendance. And we'll have that. Project Water. Project Water. Now, this one we've been waiting to do for a while. Uh, we've finally just confirmed that it's going to be on the 30th of July at 6am. And for those that don't know, Project Water is our test run of archery on kayaks. Something a bit different. Um, Teaming up with um, Arthur from Get Out on Kaya. Yep. We need to uh, go out and um, have a paddle around. He's the man to talk to. He's uh, very experienced with the kayaks. Definitely. He takes groups out every weekend. So, um, definitely the man to talk to. They've got a Facebook page. Look him up. Get Out and Kayak. Yep. He's very kindly agreed to help me take out a group of 10 archers on kayaks. Obviously, spend a little bit of time learning to get comfortable in the kayaks. Then we're going to be using the snake bows and the range arrows along with some floating targets and we'll see how we get on. So stay tuned for some interesting videos from that. Hopefully I manage to stay on the kayak and I don't fall. Hopefully we don't lose so many arrows too. Yes. Maybe we should see if the, if the bandits float or sink. We're doing a test on the range arrows for uh, yeah, we'll see if they float. Yeah. And that's Project Water. Project Steel was another one actually which we need to yes. organise. So yes. that'll be interesting as well. Tony and I will have a discussion about that later and see when we can organise Project Steel. Which leads us to the last bit of news and this is probably the big one, um, especially for me. Um, I've been <laughs> working been on, on this for a long, long time. For those that know, I've been looking to expand the business into a second location. We have now, finally, today, uh, made an agreement for a second location. Thank you. Uh, which we will start on the 1st of July. Probably need a couple of months to get everything ready, targets, infrastructure and set up. 
is going to be at Handat in the Victoria shooting range. So we're going to have a nice big space in there. Probably, we reckon, three times the length of this. Yeah, well, the long range shots will be around 70 metres. Well, 70 metres. So, and probably but it's going to be 3D. All um, 3D. It's going to be all 3D and uh, this range here will be 2D animals and 2D uh, paper targets. So and cubes. We get the variety. I think well, width-wise, we're in maybe 15, 16 lanes in width. Yeah, it's about 20 something meters. I think it was 22 or 24 mm. meters wide and about 75 meters long. Approximately. So, so we're going to get some pretty good long shots. On the Lots of trees. So lots yes. of shade. Which yes. is nice. So that's obviously what this is here for. So we'll crack it open in a little bit. There's the sword. I know, right? Lawrence, where's your machete? <laughs> where's the machete? <laughs> yeah. Sure, we've got one somewhere. Um, so yeah, so obviously give us a couple of months to get the new range up, ready and rolling. And we'll add it to the website with a new booking system. So when you go in to book your session, you'll be able to choose if you're going to be a Handa or Sandra. And uh, I think that's it. I think that's enough. We've been waiting to announce this one for a long yeah. time. So. Yeah, and we've said in about three or four videos now that yeah. we have something to announce with. But until it's black and white on paper, you yeah. can't really announce it because it's more I mean, yeah. <laughs> for anyone who lives here, you know exactly what we yeah. mean. You know, things in Malta do tend to run slightly slower than we would like yeah. at times. Um, but it's done now. So, 1st of July, we get to go in. We get started. We get to start building our dream. So we'll hopefully see you guys soon. Peace. Adios.